Hello, everybody. I'm Matt. Welcome back. I'm Jordan. Welcome back to Same Spirit Gaming. More Planet Alpha. Uh, and I guess further into like the enemy base or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna find out what all these weird things are <laughs> that are falling. Okay, so now I'm torn because I've got a doorway over here to my right. Yeah. It seems to have a lot of robots that I'm not. They're facing my way, but <laughs> they don't look so much like they're active. But there was also an elevator thing. Weird. This is weird looking. It reminds me of the Borg from Star Trek. <laughs> okay, I can't go any further this way. Did they literally put this here just to show you, like, hey, this is what you're up against? <laughs> Good grief, how Long menacing is that? <laughs> Alright, oh, I guess it's elevator time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was really just debating with myself which one to do first. <laughs> Clearly, if I did the elevator first, I would not have gotten a good look at that room. Yeah, yeah. It was good to see <laughs> exactly what you're up against, I guess. They have robots for repairing and making robots. Um, that doesn't look good. Yeah. Uh, do you have to follow him in there? <laughs> Ooh, but not too close or I get <laughs> lasered. He turns around though, that was the crazy thing. Yeah. I don't checking see on these any corpses. <laughs> so like they deactivated for him to come through. Yeah, and then yeah, it's, it's walking back and forth. Those corpses really aren't that interesting. I <laughs> guess I'll just check this dead end. <laughs> Um, okay. He was, like, directly facing me there, so I'm not quite sure how I was supposed to handle that. I think I did what I was supposed to do, just maybe not quite with the right timing. Yeah. What happened to the elevator? I don't know, I guess just because I died since using it, it went back up to the first spot. I could probably call it back down with the button there. If I needed to. What? Okay. Dude, they like surround like, me. Yeah. How am I supposed cool. to? Uh, so yeah, calling down the elevator. A little unfair. <laughs> okay, so I gotta go over there to make them start. Heading this way. And then I guess I just wait up here until the first one kind of starts to come around behind me. And then just make a break for it. I guess so, but yeah, that second one makes it way more difficult. Like, what are you I, supposed to do? <laughs> I tried jumping there so the second one wouldn't detect me, but... Weird. Time powers activate? <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Just that doesn't seem to be doing hike. anything here, though. Yeah. Your one ability. Yeah, I don't know. This is... Oh! Did you make it? And then I push that button so the lasers are engaged. Oh, nice. Or so maybe not. I don't know. You are kind of supposed to just book it. Still not quite sure what these things are. Yeah. It would make the most sense for those to be sort of like... I don't know. Metal scraps or whatever material they use to build the robots. 
Yeah. Or maybe they're just incinerating, like, the plants outside to <laughs> make energy. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look above. Is that you? Another one of your people? But, like... See? On the pipe? It looks oh. Like you're... Yeah, I... <laughs> Super it took something. me a second for my brain to even process that, yeah, that's what it <laughs> probably is. Another one of your people? It's weird. I think I'm not fully understanding. Or, you the... know, any one of my hundred other lives that I've lost. <laughs> Jeez, okay. I do here dude's just facing my direction and <laughs> won't look anywhere else it's waiting for you oh well maybe if I climb yeah no I <laughs> hmm must be something to grab on to seems like well no that pipe is kind of jutting out, but I think you tried to jump last time. It didn't work. I don't know if closing that door is really going to make any difference, but just in case. <laughs> yeah, I think. Nope. I even... That's weird. Can you get on the door when it's closing and then it brings you up or something? Uh... I could try. Or I get a feeling I, I, I will probably get crushed, though. <laughs> ah, crud. No. I messed that up. There might be a little platform up there. Okay. Eh. Yeah, see the pipes? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um... Okay. I don't think that was it. <laughs> I am stuck now. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. That was not on purpose. <laughs> can you reload? Uh, I guess I can hit retry here. Retry last area. Hopefully that won't take me back too far. <laughs> Just, well, why else would they have the door there? <laughs> That's weird. You're back at the beginning. <laughs> Replaying Planet Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm just back here with the door again. Um, okay, so my next thought was, I don't know if it would make much difference getting it. To, no, okay. I thought maybe I could, because after it starts shooting, it, like, walks over this way. Yeah. So maybe luring it or something. Yeah. No, but yeah. it, like, <laughs> it ends up killing me first pretty much every time. Um... Yeah, there's just, like, not anything to grab onto. This is a difficult one. Well, while you try to figure it out, I can bring up the Bible verse. Um, so this is from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 2. A person may think their own ways are right, but the Lord weighs the heart. Short and sweet. <laughs> um, basically, I, I think we've gotten to a point in our society where uh, everybody just kind of thinks of uh, whatever. Like, no one thinks of themselves as bad people, or most people probably wouldn't. Um, but 
you can't just really do whatever you want and apply your own kind of ethics and morals to yourself and just say, oh yeah, that's that's what's good. Whatever I'm doing, that's good. <laughs> and that actually did happen a lot in the Bible where it, like morality was just completely subjective, especially in the Old Testament, um, where people would, you know, worship Baal and <laughs> yeah. all these pagan gods. And um, I mean, yeah, if you're a Christian, you you definitely believe in objective morality and um, true consciences, but uh, it kind of feels like to me that in the U.S. where Matt and I live, <laughs> people are edging more and more towards a completely like subjective morality and just we're making up the rules as we go, you know, like whatever society agrees on, that's just the way it is <laughs> but yeah that is not yeah, true. it happened again it, <laughs> it makes it look like I'm supposed to be able to climb onto yeah. something there but cause like he even does the you know hanging animation maybe, maybe wait a little bit longer before jumping or will you get crushed for sure uh, I, I'm assuming I would get crushed, but it's, I mean, yeah, not, seeing... not like I can have a worse result. So. Yeah, that's true. I'm just not seeing how that's supposed to work. Right there. Oh no, don't get crushed. Okay, so it was just too early. I figured that body was kind of a clue, but it was like it didn't make sense when you're uh, down there. Geez. Oh jeez, and I just <laughs> fell where I was supposed to jump. So that robot is actually physically blocking the path. <laughs> Looks like you couldn't run past him. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna get into like politics, but, uh, and like, in my opinion, every political party has issues but um i would just say don't try you know try not to be just influenced by any political party or politicians or anything and just try to focus on the bible and what uh it says the morals and ethics are in there and it may completely differ with what our society says, but it's very important to stay true to that. Yeah, and not only that, but to, to some effect, I could almost see that verse as like, you know how some people, you know, they'll kind of do the right thing, but for sort of the wrong reason, so to speak. Yeah. Like, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like that could be related to that as well. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. You're, oh, jeez. Yeah. He spotted me. <laughs> I'm still running. No, he spotted me. Um, you did it. Maybe I'm safe over here. <laughs> but wow. why didn't that something's happening oh, oh, okay uh. so whenever it goes completely down they get alerted or whatever Yeah, and just to expand a little bit on what you're saying, intent definitely matters as well. Like, uh, yeah, the second half says that the Lord weighs the heart, and he knows what your intentions are, and if you, like, here, here's an example. And I know this was something you brought up, <laughs> but just expanding on it. Um, uh, you've seen, I think we've talked a little bit about Mr. Beast doing like good deeds and stuff uh 
but he's not the only YouTuber who's done things like that. But I feel like many of the YouTubers that like go out and give to the poor and that kind of thing, they're just doing it for the clout and the video, and they're not actually like their intentions is not just to help people. Um, that's kind of a secular, non-Christian example, but. <laughs> Uh, for Christians, it's the same too. You want to do be doing things to glorify God and not just uh, for your own self satisfaction, I guess. Self gratification. This looks extremely difficult. <laughs> yeah. So I think I think what I'm ultimately trying to go for is getting both of those panels in the red. Yeah. And then that giant tentacle will start flapping around. <laughs> I mean, this really feels like we're towards the end. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel like I can talk even more about the shorter verses <laughs> than the longer ones. <laughs> Depends. And that is hard. Yeah, you, like you have to stay standing at the same spot in order for it to keep going yeah. down. Right. I do kind of wonder if I could just like... Oh. Move a, along here and kind of drop down from one of these. But now he's question. further over to the left, almost like he knows where I am. More. But yeah, like he just turns Okay, around. there is something I can jump onto over there though. That's okay. helpful information. So I have a question. You have read through the Bible four times, right? Uh, three times completely working on the fourth. Okay, working on the fourth. How do you usually go through Proverbs and Psalms? Do you just, like, read it straight through? Uh... Or do you sprinkle it in between, like, other stuff? I mean... So, for each time that I say I've read through the Bible completely, it's pretty much just been, like, a cover-to-cover, -cover, like, Genesis to Revelation, Got in it. that order kind of thing. I see. Yeah. Man, it... The... I did the uh, Bible in a Year podcast, and... Um, where they just go from... They, they don't do it like they do do it in order but they also like every day there was one proverb and one psalm so it wasn't like uh that that was kind of the only thing out of order well and the, they split up the gospels like one <coughs> sorry there was there's four of them so they do one per quarter i guess you could say but other than that, it was completely in order. So yeah, anyway, I was just curious. I I feel like for me, it would be hard to stay focused because there's not really a story. It's just, uh, you know, one after another, proverb after proverb, but uh, yeah, I was just curious. Dang, this is like super hard. <laughs> Is it better to start on the right or the left? I don't know. Well. <laughs> what is your favorite book of the Bible? <laughs> Uh, favorite entire book of the Bible? I know, it's a hard question. Um, 
Might have to go with Revelation just because I really like all the imagery and... Okay. Like, it so really just kind of shows the power of God. Yeah. How in the what? world did he see me up there? Whoa. Doggone it. <laughs> I was so close. Never happened before. <laughs> Yeah, so I wait for him to go here. Oh, you got it. Oh, man. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got ah, both. Oh. I've unleashed the beast, and now they're focused on that. Whoa. Okay. okay. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> now what? I don't know what to do now. It's saved. Okay, that's good. Oh, uh, but there, there's lasers. <laughs> that looked like they could have hit me. Yep. Ooh. What in the world do I do now? Yeah, if Revelation's your favorite, we should definitely go through it, though. Because <laughs> I did not... I feel like I didn't grasp everything about that book. I mean, not that... Anybody can grasp it all, but <laughs> very confused by it. Okay. All right. So that Ooh, robot okay. got killed now. Trying not to get killed myself. Um. Okay. Nice. Can I maybe go this way now? Yeah, well, no. <laughs> that same dude that I had to go over top of before is still there now. Can you go oh, back? I can up. go this way, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that really happened until after the big thing, like, yeah. destroyed that last dude. Right. I know, using very scientific terminology here. Thing and dude and... <laughs> uh, it was not where I was supposed to jump. <laughs> See, it looks like it was. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. That's fine. But I go up here and then what? I guess I just drop down onto that first and then jump across. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Okay. I'm not seeing how we're going to get that fourth symbol because <laughs> normally you have to like line up the planets or whatever. You can't even I've see. I've got a stuff. giant drill thing here. <laughs> Is this how I'm getting to the core? <laughs> Are you controlling it? No. Oh, okay. No, this is a lot like the uh, really fast spinning elevator thingy. Oh, look at that. Wow. Back on Back. the surface. So... Are the robots, like, not actually from space? They're from underground or something? <laughs> Or they just landed and kind of burrowed in. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not real sure either. I mean... I guess they had spaceships. If it was the whole, like, they landed first and just burrowed in the ground, I feel like that would kind of be derivative of, like, War of the Worlds. Isn't that how <laughs> those things kind of, you know, suddenly surprised everybody and were just like taking over the whole earth because oh, they had yeah. been underground all that time. That's true. I'm like, I think we're right at the time we would usually call it for the next episode, but I almost want to just wait and see <laughs> if we're at the end. I'm getting a feeling there's still a fair bit more to go through. 
just because of coming back to the surface like this. Yeah. <clears throat> um, probably still enough for at least one other episode, I'm guessing. Okay. And oh, even wait. if there wasn't that much in terms of gameplay, I'm sure there would be credits rolling afterward that we could just, like, talk over, and yeah. that would take up a good chunk of time. That's a good point. I think... So, like maybe end it here? Uh, yeah, that's a good spot. Or try and get past this robot first? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for watching. That was quite uh, an adventure through the <laughs> yeah. robot base. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on back on the surface next time. Yeah. Alright. See you all later. Bye, everybody. Bye.